you know the names of the U.S. residents who then became the presidents and got a view from the White House Lou of Pennsylvania Avenue. George Washington was the first you see. He once chopped down a cherry tree. President number two would be John Adams and then number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write a declaration late at night. So he and his wife had a great big fight and she made him sleep on the couch all night. James Madison never had a son and he fought the war of 1812. James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio. John Quincy Adams was number six and it's Andrew Jackson's but he kicks. So Jackson learns to play politics next time he's the one that the country picks. Martin Van Buren, number eight, for a one-term shot as chief of state. John Tyler, he liked country folk. And after him came President Polk. 1850, really nifty, Miller, Bill Moore's in. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. Follows next a period spanning, four long years with James Buchanan. Then the South starts shooting cannon, and we got a civil war. A war, a war down south in Dixie. Congress each would impeach And so the country now elects Ulysses Simpson Grant Who would scream and rave and rant While drinking whiskey Oh, the risky Cause he'd spill it on his pants It's 1877 And the Democrats would gloat But they're all amazed When Rutherford Hayes Wins by just one vote Chester Arthur gets instated Four years later he was traded Lord Grover Cleveland Really fat Elected twice as a Democrat Then Benjamin Harrison After that And Teddy Roosevelt Charged up San Juan Hill And President Taft He got the bill In 1913 Woodrow Wilson Sun takes us into World War I. He does fine. And then in 1929, the market crashes and we fight. It's Herbert Hoover's big debut. He gets the blame and loses too. Harry Truman, weird little human, serves two terms and when he's done. It's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. Then Lyndon Johnson took his spot. Richard Nixon, he gets caught and Gerald Ford fell down a lot. <laughs> Jimmy Carter liked camping trips And Ronald Reagan's speeches scripts All came from famous movie clips And President Bush said, read my lips Now in Washington, D.C. That's Democrats and the GOP But the ones in charge are plain to see The Clintons, Bill and Hillary The next president to lead the way Well, it just might be yourself one day Then the press will distort everything you say So jump in your plane and fly away